is coming. Something. So now I'm closer to God. But being closer is hard. The attacks get stronger. They become much harder to fight and they last longer. That's what it's always been. Joy, pain, dark with the light, sun with the rain. But with the right perspective, it can be something to gain. Yo. Can I with you? What? ACT, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, or Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. It takes a Look, you got some weed? Dang. I gotta get some. Alright, hurry up. Diesel and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. Alright. But, I know that there's more. More for you, more for us. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic.
Say it later, what you gonna do now? Mm. Hope you're ready, cause I'm really about to put it down Girl, you know that I will never disrespect you mm. We have tomorrow, but tonight I wanna spend with you mm. Let us count, gotta make it last now Let's get our soul, and I'ma beat it up Once good, I What it do, what it do, what it do. I see. I see some things going on in the chat. Shout out. I see my sister Sky Zone in the building. What's going on, Sky? Um, sorry to hear about your aunt. We're going to send well wishes up to Sky Zone that she rebound full strength. You know, like, you know. Sky don't say the friend of the Mars, so we all going to keep prayer. We going to keep Sky Zone in prayer because y'all know Sky Zone will keep us in prayer. And she'll give us an A and B, C, D, and E selection. But hey, y'all see what the title is. Agents in the R. Kelly sector. Then we're going to talk about Jesse Smollett. Then we're going to talk about R. Kelly. But that Jesse Smollett, R. Kelly going to run consecutive. So what I'm thinking about doing. Depending on the time and everything, because I still got to take y'all to the market run. Depending on time, I might break it up in two. But I'm going to do what I got to do to try to make it happen in one. Okay? Tomorrow, Lita, what's up, bro? Uh, so. <laughs> Dana got a way of breaking them out. But before I go there, if you want to support the channel, there's a box down there. With a dollar sign in it, that's called the super chat. You go ahead and hit the super chat and put whatever you want in it to support the channel. If you want to send me something for lunch, then hey, there's a Zell at bookdanaj at gmail.com. If you want to send me something where I split between me and the channel, The Cash App is up top. Y'all see what it is. Cash App. Official Dana J. And I'm going to leave that there. Y'all feel me? So, hey. Shout out to everybody that's here, man. I love everybody. Everybody here. So, like I say, Dana J got a way of bringing them out. Let's talk about one of the agents in the R. Kelly sector. I told y'all before. A lot of people was paid to come in this. I told y'all before, a lot of people came in to try to get time reduced. I told y'all before, a lot of people was in this to try to keep Rob incarcerated. So I'm going to take you on a ride. Because within the last 24 hours, you could have seen something drastic happen to one of the agents. And initially, I got heated. Because it's just some things I just don't play with. What up, Kendra? It's just some things I don't play with. So, this go back to last year. When people want to play victim on their page, right? So, I'm going to tell you. A real dude, a real agent. Is going to do whatever he got to do to try to pull somebody out to get paperwork on them. Every time they tried, they were unsuccessful when it came to me. You feel me? So, we're going to go down a timeline, okay? Last year, when he put, and you know, when he put my mama up on his thing, I went back at his fat ass mama. When he put my kid that was in a NICU up on his joint, I put his kids up on the joint. That's where we're going to stop. Because you're going to see it play out now and again. And now people want to play victim. But if you're not an agent, 
You're not going to do things. And then when shit get hot on your trail, all of a sudden, we want to talk paperwork. Then after that, when a person ain't paying you no more attention, now you tough. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at it. At official Dana J, great job, T-Baby. So beaten and ETC, huh? Watch how a strong black woman put that paperwork on you. Laugh emoji. Dude, you a damn good actor and nice Photoshop PS. Thanks for the threats earlier today. Look. Look. Shout out to the people with time on their hand. Just know I have the real video. And defamation slander is a matter. She has every right to fight back on. You would have to tell a lie to compare a beautiful soul to a troll. Yo, T-Baby has never liked you. Do trust when I say you live will be... You, 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 what? You... <laughs> You lie, you live, you live, or live, you let you live will be added. Read more to her police report harassing, stalking ETC in 2022 will not be tolerated. You're going to be just like I was at RSK court date. Watch. So, you see the game plan, they want to have me locked up. Then he go here. Cyber stalking and bullying, right? And you see the people. He put all of us together, which, which, which you don't want us working together. You don't want that, right? So then he say, at official Dana J, Sarah got T two, two police reports on you. T-Baby will be dealing with the same officer when my FOIA hit y'all going federal. Okay, just give it some time. What street nigga, what vice lord, what regular person talks about going federal? Nothing but an agent. So then he say, people that know RSK should not make should not be make any money for saying free him or have a cash app. Levi for Kelly, official Dana J. Sharon Wimbush. But, but. At the end of the day, it goes here. At the end of the day. Okay, that's the restaurant out there? Okay. Okay, okay, Google, thank you. So at the end of the day. Just doing my job. Not a problem. So at the end of the day, have he talked about how much money he collected off of R. Kelly? By selling clothes with R. Kelly name and brand on it? Have he talked about, oh, the thousands of dollars that he collected to give to Greenberg and only gave him $420? But let's keep going. So, so, so y'all see, I put this up here. Me, I mean, everything I said, everything. I want, I want them to know. I said every bully is big and bad until a demon arrives and hit him in his mouth. Look, you scary dude at the Bosky gun. Stop tagging me in your girlish rants. You're a vice lord. Deal with me as a vice lord would. Fuck you, Sarah Remy, and whoever else do. Police reports ain't going to help you. You know what you did. So now I'm coming to collect. Y'all see the rest? He said... Why would I deal with you as a vice lord when you not? I never claimed to be. You did. And if you dealing with me, why are you attacking a woman? Because you always do. And I'm, a, and I'm not attacking a woman. I'm putting what you did out there to her. That's why she's scared to move on from you. Because she's afraid that you're going to attack our family. But carry on, normally when you do all this tough talk, you don't show up. I show up all the time. And when I showed up, you became friendly and was shaking. So then he said, at DJ Tyson, YTF, I can say fuck the police every day. It's not a crime. And the same way I got a background 
You do. You don't got to tell me how the system works, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to skip all this because he's talking about paperwork, 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 paperwork. Look, paperwork, public records request, paperwork. He's talking about all paperwork, right? The tough nigga. This is one of his other pages, but it's set up as real. Talking about paperwork. That's all you're talking about paperwork on me and DJ Tyson. Me and DJ Tyson. Me and DJ Tyson. Now he's messing with females once again. Paperwork. Oh. But then he puts this out here. Well, at the end of the day, when you have a stalking charge and a stay away order, this is part of stalking. <laughs> this is part of stalking. You violated the stay away order. Okay. And the reason why you violated the stay away order, because now you are threatening this man's life indirectly. That falls under stalking. You're threatening this man's life indirectly. You got where he live at. So, if anybody wanted to hurt this man, he, he can just pull up on him and his family. <laughs> wow. He said, Official Dana J, you got two police reports from that woman you doxed. Told your dummy. Oh, told your dummy as that when you did, but as when you did it, but add another one. Plus, I got Rambo. It don't matter. I'm not worried about the police reports. You running with the police reports, not me. So then you see him put up a false check. Now watch this. This is a check from somebody's account. It's not going to him. And I'm going to tell you why. Any lawyer, if you settled this out of court, any lawyer know that when they, whenever you're writing, Every third space is you put a what? Family, a comma. This is how you know he did this shit to perpetrate. 1004000.00. What kind of check is that? How much money is that for? This is why they hate me. Because when they stupid, they do stupid things. And me... I like to call people out on stupid things. This is a starter check. Make this make sense. A law firm sent you a starter check for $100,400, but this clearly say $100,400,000. Can somebody make this make sense? And then you got the number one dummies down here talking about congratulations for what? A starter check is not paid out to nobody. On top of that, how are you going to have a starter check, but it started at 1865? Make this make sense. Make this make sense. You got a starter check. It has to be digital after a certain amount. Thank you, true strong warrior. You, you have a starter check. And I think it got to be digital after 90,000. You got to start a check, but it started at 1865. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. Pay to the order of who? I didn't know nobody named to be this short. Make it make sense. What up, Prima? So... So this is why I say, like, stupid people need to be with stupid people. Y'all see it? So I'm going to show you what he has done, right? After getting the police reports on everybody, right? And this is a whole nother time of when she was in there. And even right here, let's go here. Even right here, you can clearly see... She got black eyes. So where's the lie? You clearly see she got black eyes. So where's the lie?
She even told you in a letter. And then he say, at official Dana J, as I said, you don't know me. The, uh, the only thing you can say is what you heard made up or flat out lie. Your CH has no integrity. And you say you RSK mentee to the world on TV, yet still a nobody. Keep talking. What? She still have black eyes. They gone down a little bit, but you see this. Second of all, when, whenever you want to dress me, have somebody proofread your shit like I do. I guess the Enterprise, none of them can read either. So, hey, Truth. So when you look at it, just because this purple eye went down and this black eye still puffy, what are you trying to say? She still got black eyes. You still beat on her. So I'm, I'm going to scroll down because you did the unthinkable, brother. And I'm going to give you my reply to the my reply to the unthinkable. So, <clears throat> and you see he still got the paperwork showing it and everything. Okay, cool. Now he's talking about a female. It's not a male. Talking about a female. But he say, if you for R. Kelly, why are you attacking women? Hmm. Here's another police report. Or the same police report. He put all this stuff out there, phone number and everything. Email address, all that which is a threatening manner. Then he go here, non-commercial police FOI request assigned. Okay, cool. You do all that. Mm -hmm. But then you made the utmost mistake. You put my kids up there, bro. Now, you Photoshop this and, and want to make a joke and make it seem like that I'm doing something crazy. Then you try to pick on Tyson. Then you put my kid up here like this. Uh -huh. Then you say every day you play with me, you play with mine like it's a game. I'm going slow walk this botch. And you put my son on the dog head, on the dog body. You put my son face in the toilet with a black eye. Uh, uh, you, 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 oh, you perpetrate with FBG duck. And you not about the life. Then you play with a dildo and put my son head on the end of it. I get it. And you replace my head with my son head on the set that I'm on. I get it. You know, I, I get what you're doing. I get it. You, same thing with Prima Donna. I get it. I get it. Same thing with Trevor and them. I get it. I get it. You did that with Doug. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get all of this. Then you cry victim. Uh, at official Dana J, now you the victim, huh? Oh, that's after you put my son up when he was in the NICU. So I put yours up. But remember what you said, though. This is what you said. And I want you to remember everything you said, okay? This is what you said. Let, let me get it. This is what you said. Because I want you to understand that this ain't a laughing matter. This is what you said. Not nobody else. This is what you said. said that shit. I even think you said something about my kids. If I even feel like my kids involved in this shit. Think you're alive, Dana. You listening? Play with me. Skazo, Sylvia, play with me. Play with my kids and I will fucking find you, motherfucker. I'm not fucking lying. Push me over the edge. Push me. Play with my fucking kids. I dare you. I dare you. I don't give a fuck. Cool. I don't give a fuck. Trayvon Martin, I was at the rally in Chicago for Trayvon Martin. Why? Because I got a fucking kid. I've been saying unfit parents. Why? Because I got a fucking kid. Play with my kids. 
I do 30 with a smile. I do 30 with a smile. You play with my fucking kids. I even think somebody said something about my fucking kids. And you heard what I said about yours. You don't heard all the disrespect from me. Play with my kids if you want to. Play with me. Think I won't. Think I won't. You better read the news clippers, the ones you don't tell the people. Play with my kids. Play with my kids and you bitches out of there. Okay, oh, boss. They got that it. That shit right there. Angelo, Angelo, you, how you gonna come over here and try to play a father role when you a motherfucker out here scoping for impromptu women in the ghetto? How you gonna fucking come and try to play a Captain Saber role for women and build a company off that shit when you're threatening to tell Cass Jones experiences that she shared with you that she had growing up. How the fuck is you raising young kings but your fucking son want to be a young queen? Play with my shit and I will fucking front throw you broad daylight. Broad daylight. In front of the choir, I don't give a fuck, Larry. Anybody talk about my kids, I'll play your daughter, bouncing her ass, all that shit. Anybody play with my kids? Anybody? That's all I need is a. <laughs> I'ma tell y'all. I'ma tell y'all why I say that's cat. Cause y'all heard how disrespectful I got with his kids after he posted my kid, and I put his kid up there. And when he saw me, he wanted to shake my hand, the shaky way. But here's the problem. I told him never do that again because there will never be another shaking of the hand. So I get it. You want me to come public. You want me to threaten you and do this so you can have them people come to my house mm -hmm. and lock me up for threatening and terroristic threats across the Internet and all that. I'm not doing that. You know what I want to do? I want to see you face to face, eye to eye. I want to lick your cheek. <laughs> You're a vice lord, so you know what that means. <laughs> but like I say, agents in the R. Kelly sector, y'all, be well. Nobody give him no more attention. Attention for him is not needed no more. Agents in the R. Kelly sector that's trying to get the most powerful voices locked up. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not going back and forth. You can put up any trigger of mine that you want. And I ain't going to lie to you. You almost got me today. You almost, you, you almost got me. But I wasn't coming on here to, to tell you nothing. I was taking a trip. To show you something. But for what? We gonna cross paths. <laughs> Only thing I'm gonna tell you is this. Trying to get there. Can't tell Ben there. How to get there. And I'm gonna say it again. Trying to get there. Hey Queen Newton. What up Todd? What up everybody that's here? What up Sky? What up, Toy? Big Baby Pernell, what's going on? Trying to get there. Can't tell Ben there how to get there. I want you to figure out exactly what I just said to you, dirty boy. That's all I'm going to say. Now, we finish with that. <laughs> He going to try to compare baby mamas. And then you posted a picture of Patrice. Hmm. Well, I'll stay with Patrice. I'll stay with Patrice. Astrology TV, I'm always the receipt man. I'll stay with Patrice, right? 
And uh, look at Sarah Remy and look at Patrice. That's all I'm saying. Look at whoever else you've done been with and look at my track record. But I'm not going to sit here and compare apples to oranges. You feel me? Because you want to be me, and I understand that. It's hard being me. But you can't. You first got to start with washing your ass. Nobody has ever gave a detail that I have an odor. And this is why you're upset. You hurl plastic dicks. I'm sorry. How can you have R. Kelly anything in the background and hurl plastic dicks? But I'm going to give y'all the real truth about it. Receipt Man 101. The reason why he mad is because he know them people coming to get him for him holding or possessing or touching stolen property. So, what you want to do to lessen your sentence? You want to do whatever you got to do to try to put paperwork on any and everybody that you feel as though is in this R. Kelly fight. Second thing is, you don't care. That's why you can easily say, fuck R. Kelly. You don't care. You say it all the time. You do not care. And that's fine. But a lot of us do care. That's why we won't let you disrespect R. Kelly. We damn sure ain't letting you disrespect Rob. So with that being said, we get what's going on. We get what's going on. We get what's going on. I'm going to be honest. I think you actually bend over and, and, and stick the dildo in you while somebody's calling is playing in the background. Don't no man have a fetish of trying to name theirself after another man. And then when things don't go your way, you talk about the man. You say, I will bring mute R. Kelly back, which clearly signals that you have been muting R. Kelly the whole time. You're only over here for a cash app. You're only over here for the stupid people that follow you that really don't follow Rob. Just look at who's in the enterprise. It's so easy to mask that you're for Rob, but you're not. And it's not me that's saying it. It's your actions. That's the hard part. You saying, oh, who's Dana J to say they for Rob or not? No, but your actions say it. Let's put your actions against mine. When have I ever said, fuck R. Kelly? When have I ever turned on R. Kelly? When have I ever turned on Rob? But, and trust me, it's many days I, I didn't receive a cash app at all. And I still pump out information. But you didn't get a cash app. I'm about to quit, y'all. Ain't nobody giving me a cash app. Cash apps don't run real bloggers' lives. Yes, it's an asset. It's a plus. But look, when you want to get the message out, it's a bigger story. And the story is not so much about the now. The story is about the later. That part right there, Ty. Mute the fake recording. Oh, R. Kelly called me and sung 12 play. And, 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 and I had somebody else call that sound a little like Rob that starts singing something else. Come on. Yo, I, you know what? Hold on. Oh, but my body, my body's a mess, baby. I don't want to hurt nobody, but there is something that I must confess. Uh, Kelly called me too. He just called me and sung that to everybody in that dream team. Uh, Kelly just called me just now. And sing it to everybody in the dream team. But I ain't pick up no, I, but I ain't pick up not one phone. He magically called and you heard it. You heard it. Y'all can't tell me y'all Kelly ain't just called me. He just called me. 
He sung the song. Shit, look. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all R. Kelly call. Watch this. Oh, that's Kells calling me now. Yo. Kells. I want you to sing something to the people, all right? Hold on. I'm going to put your speaker phone. On the ground. And then I woke up. As a well in the middle of a pond. And the minute I opened my mouth and started to sing. My man. My oh, mentor. He's singing a dream thing. Everything. Sometimes I don't know. No, nah, Cal, but don't give no more. But, 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 but don't give no more. Don't give no more. Don't give no more. Because the haters, the haters ain't going to do that. The haters ain't, the haters, the haters going to get mad because you calling me, Kels. The, the haters are going to get mad. You know what I'm saying? The haters going to get mad. Don't do that no more, Kels. Look, I'm just saying, yo, man, look, my bad, yo. I just had to tell you, yo, don't do that no more, man. My bad, yo. yo I ain't mean to make you use a lot of your minutes, but I'm just saying, Rob, what's going on, man? Yeah, Levi good. Yeah, man. Dream team good. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, man. Call me at call me at lunchtime, man. All right. Please. All right. One. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Thank you, Gary J. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, Kelly, call me, y'all. They mad. They mad. They mad because R. Kelly just called me. They mad because he just called me from jail and just told me, yeah, I'm going to go see Kales tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go see Kales tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And only the slow people fall for that. Like I'm saying, I mean, I just don't understand. Like, bro, I'm not going to threaten you. I'm just going to put it out there what you are, the fraud you are. That's all. I ain't going to threaten you. I just can't wait to see you. When I see you, then we can talk, man. How you doing? I see Levi in the building. Welcome back to Levi for Kelly, where the story is to be told, not to be told. I'm just saying, they keep playing with my cuz and, and don't understand what's going on. This is Levi for Kelly. So, now that I'm finished with the scammer and everything else and his cheap clothes that he have an attitude about that he black and T-baby eye to go make shirts and stuff, that's their problem. Because my thing is, when enough is enough, you know how to walk away no matter what. And if... And if you can go stab people and shoot people for that nigga, why can't you do the same for yourself? You have to love yourself first. And until you love yourself, can't nobody else make you love you. So it leads me on to another situation. This is what I mean when I say fly by night people. Here's another fly by night person. All right. And... <sighs> This is what I mean when I say the new supporters are being fucked up. Excuse my French, but I got to say it this way. The new supporters are being fucked up when they come in and go to wrong channels. Then they do shit like this. Good evening, everyone. What is going on? This is your girl, Lady D. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome evening, as usual. Uh, just on here to give you guys a quick update. Uh, I think it's awesome news what I'm about to tell you. Thank, thank you, Mama Belinda. Blown away. I was on Infamous Sylvia's channel yesterday. And oh my God, some news came. Hold on. Thank you, Miss Belinda. Well, hold on. I got to get my right sound effects together. Hold on. It's good. God, it's good. Yes, he is. So what I found out, you guys know R. Kelly had a case in um, 
New York, uh-huh. Minnesota, and uh-huh. he also has a case here in Illinois. Uh-huh. But what I found out yesterday, uh-huh. the case in Minnesota has been dropped. Do you? You're calling the Dana J Show. How can I help you, Carla? Hold on. Hold on. What's going on, Dana? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, nothing. Ah, uh, what's going on? Oh, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 got, I got Rob on the phone. R. Kelly on the phone, y'all. Hold one second. I'm standing here looking in the mirror. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, what's up, Rob? Saying damn to myself. What? Dana said, what's up, Rob? I'm standing here looking in the mirror. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. He was raised in Illinois. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hey, we over here talking about the dollar store general, uh, Rob. Hold on a second, I'm talking to Dana. Rob said, what's up? Rob want to say something to you, Dana. Right outside of Chicago. <laughs> 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 he was raised in Illinois. <laughs> he was raised in Bolingbrook. Rob want to say, Rob want to say something, to you, Dana. He was raised in Bolingbrook, <laughs> right outside of Chicago. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> well, where do we get to a place where a nigga? Yeah. Listen, I'm trying to, I'm trying to say, <laughs> I'm trying to say how disrespectful this shit. You know, now it's just getting disrespectful, right? Okay, these people think that the R. Kelly supporters and subscribers are so damn stupid. Thank you, Karen. That that they actually can come on and say, "Oh, I, R. Kelly called me. Let me play the, the the recording," and got him singing. You know, and. Then he says, you know, I'm going to ride with you forever. Uh, man, listen, man. This is an insult to y'all, okay? Rob it's don't even use the word ride. Hey, bro. Is when he's talking to people, I mean, he don't say ride. Exactly, bro. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, all I can say is that it's crazy and it's an insult. It just tells you how these people can come on. You got... Uh, you got the crackhead over there talking about he was a, a staple at, at Rockefeller. This nigga, all he did was carry bags. You got all these people, like, pretend, you got a nigga talking about he's a doctor, sitting there with his hands clenched, saying he's a doctor. You have, like, you have all these frauds, bro. But if y'all go back to the beginning, when Dana, myself, even Miss Wimbush, you know, when we came on or whatever, y'all got to understand that that, that their, their thinking, their objective was, we're going to discredit Dana. We're going to say Dana doesn't know him. Even though Dana took people to him, we're going to discredit uh, Levi. He's not his cousin. He don't know Rob. We're going to discredit Miss. Win- we're going to discredit Miss Wimbush. We're going to discredit all of these. Uh, these are the we're bitches. going to discredit Will Eady. Yeah, I mean, they attacked Will Eady, the terrorist. They and we're going to discredit uh, Bruce and Carrie. There you go. They attacked them. They attacked his children's mother. They attacked his children. And if Miss Joanne were alive, they would attack her. Because these are sick individuals. Give me five seconds, Dana. Check this out, man. I want y'all to study the death of John Lennon, the guy that killed John Lennon. Study the death of Selena, the Latino singer, the beautiful Selena. Study her death. The woman who killed her, okay? These are sick sociopathic, psychopathic, so-called fans, fanatics. They're sick. And when you see them attacking people, attacking a man's brothers, attacking the man's children, it tells you what they're capable of. These are crazy people, y'all. A man sits there and plays Rob talking to, singing through the phone and says that's Robert talking to him. These are crazy people, and they will go to any length to basically uh, replace Dana, replace me, Miss Wimbush, and others, replace his children, replace his brothers. They're crazy, y'all. That's all I wanted to come on and say. But wait, hey, hey, Dana. Yeah. Rob, what you, what you want me to tell him, Rob? 
I'm going to put the phone on. Rob, I got to tell you. So we're talking about the, the dude in Bolivar, Rob. Hold on. Da, 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 da. La, 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 la. Oh, listen, y'all. He was raised in Bolingbrook. What would you say, Rob? Right outside of Chicago. <laughs> All right, nigga, I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm <about> <laughs> y'all niggas clown of the day on fucking Friday. Goddamn. But hey, this lady tuned into the wrong channel, right? <laughs> and this is what she said. So, what I found out, you guys know R. Kelly had a case in um, New York, Minnesota, and he also has a case here in Illinois. But, what I found out yesterday. What'd you find out? The case in Minnesota has been dropped. What? what do you hear me? He no longer has a case in Minnesota. What? What just happened? Did I hear another lie? Miss Lady D. Now you see something. Now you see now. You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? I, yeah, but... I, no, you done fucked up, don't you? I, no, don't you? <laughs> no, you done fucked up. Miss Lady D, you know you done fucked up, right? Now, they don't call me the receipt man for nothing. And I don't play when it comes to Robert. So what I want you to do is look at the following documents. Trust and believe. If Robert case was dropped, I probably would have been the second person to know. His case haven't been dropped. Furthermore, you're going to lead me to go deeper. Don Russell's guy was supposed to have represented Robert. The same guy that made him lose money in Chicago. So let's read. State of Minnesota. County of Hennepin which is Hennepin County, Jane Doe, plaintiff versus Robert Sester Kelly. And one thing about Minnesota, they're going to put you in proper form. But where they messed up at is I've never met nobody named Jane Doe. <clears throat> so this is an order in judgment. And I'm going to go backwards. Plaintiff's action. I mean, plaintiff's application for default judgment and the above caption matter came before the court for the remote hearing on February the 24th, 2022. What's, what's today's date? And nobody haven't heard from Don Russell since February to what? Exactly. A distraction. They all trying to deplete Robert completely. So if he have lawsuits everywhere where he can't fight because the people that he thought was going to fight for him that claim that they they, they, they as friends and they don't show up. This is what happens at the Hennepin County District Court. Attorney Richard Student Meshenberger. And Associates PA appeared on behalf of plaintiff Jane Doe based on the proceedings and on the affidavits, exhibits and memorandum filed in support of the application. The court finds as follows. One, 
Defendant Robert Sylvester Kelly has failed to plead or otherwise defend in this action within the time allowed by the Minnesota Rules of Civil Procedure or, or statute. The record supports and proves plaintiff's allegation of sexual assault and abuse and defendant is liable to plaintiff under counts one and two of the amended complaint. Stop. Go back up to one. Defendant Robert Smith Kelly has failed to plead or otherwise defend. So you haven't heard from him. Because they've been on lockdown. He's been locked up. So you haven't heard from him. But Brian Nick was supposed to be there. Brian Nick is Don Russell's guy. That's the one that Don Russell tell everybody was supposed to be collecting money for Robert. That's the one that set up the million dollar initiative. So I don't have to go back and forth with idiots. I will put truth on them. So let's go here. As evidence by the medical records and affidavits submitted by plaintiff in support of her application, plaintiff has sustained permanent serious psychological and emotional injuries. Wait. So, wait, 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 wait. You sustained psychological and emotional injuries. So this just happened when Surviving R. Kelly came out, but you haven't dealt with him since 2006, 2008. So you also give a place that wasn't even constructed in 2006 and 2008. So you report something that never happened. Because Lisa Van Allen is your cousin, Prado. And then you put on an act and fake like you are psychological and emotional scarred for the rest of your life. So then it says, and correspondent permanent disability. So I have a question. Everybody else got herpes, so why you don't have herpes, Prado? This is what I would try to reach out and tell y'all from day one. Herpes don't pick and choose. It don't do any, many, miny, mo. If you got it, you're going to get it. If you're sleeping with somebody that have it. So it seemed like everybody slept with Robert and now they have herpes. But Prado don't have herpes. She just got a $2 million lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? Astrology TV. I'm good. I'm good. Trust and believe. He disrespected my son. That's true. But I'm putting facts out there right now. I'm not giving him no more air time. He'll get enough very soon. So... It says, as a result of defendant's conduct, $2 million is a fair and adequate sum to compensate plaintiff for her injuries. Four, further, the affidavit of plaintiff regarding defendant's conduct constitutes clear and convincing evidence in support of of an award of punitive damages against defendant, an award of two million dollars. <laughs> this is what two million dollars look like when it's written out. An award of two million dollars as and for punitive damages as supported by the following factors the seriousness of defendant's misconduct, the duration and repeated occurrences of similar misconduct. Of similar misconduct over many years and involving many victims, of which the court takes judicial notice. So what happened was they looked at the New York case 
and awarded her off of what happened in the New York case. <laughs> the duration of defendant's concealment of and avoidance of responsibility for his misconduct. Defendant's awareness of his misconduct. Defendant's use of his position of power as a celebrity and his un and his employment of agents to carry out the misconduct and available information, evidence and significant income of defendant. Based on the foregoing findings, it is hereby ordered plaintiff's application for default judgment pursuant to Minnesota R Civil P55.01 is granted. Plaintiff Jane Doe is entitled to judgment against defendant Robert Sylvester Kelly in the amount of $4 million plus pre-judgment and post-judgment interest. Where did $4 million come from? When he clearly said an award of $2 million as and for punitive damages is supported. So where $4 million come from? But then let's go here. This is put on record with no signature and no date. Violation number one. You can't put something on record with no signature and no date. So what are you trying to tell me? You gave a remote hearing date of February 24th. This was just put in. And my Keith Sweat voice, something, 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 something just ain't right. Hey, Denise. So last but not least, I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to get out your way. sentencing you to 30 months felony probation and the probation is going to be to this court you're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want you do not have to live in the state of illinois you can wait a minute what you say judge I'm sentencing you to 30 months felony probation and the probation is going to be to this court you're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want you do not have to live in the state of illinois You can travel anywhere you want, 30 months probation. But you terrorize the whole city with a fake hate crime lie that went public. You terrorize the whole city. Let's go here. You terrorize the whole government. Put a mental note there. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's finish. But Robert Sylvester Kelly can't travel. He got to turn over his passport because y'all deem him a flight risk. But y'all let this man go with loose, loose, loose restrictions after he put terror in the city of Chicago. Let's finish. Let's see if we find out any more underlying groups that's behind this. You can report by phone. I know that uh, if you're going to try to make a living and do some sort of the things you do, you may have to go to uh, other uh, places, New York and Los Angeles. You can do those things. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, which is the maximum fine. And you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. Mr. Smollett, though the jury found you guilty and I've sentenced you as I have, you have the right to appeal the findings and rulings of the court or ask your sentence to be modified. To do those things, you need to file a notice of appeal in writing within 30 days. You may also file a motion to modify your sentence, which would have to be filed in writing within 30 days. Anything not stated in those filings are waived for purposes of appeal. You cannot afford lawyers or transcripts. They would be provided for your charge. Do you have any questions?
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Something that he did versus something that he's alleged. Jesse Smollett spent 150 days in jail for something that he did. R. Kelly spent three years in jail for something that's alleged. All right. I should be better up now. Pay close attention to this part. I am not suicidal. After that, why would the first thing that come out is I'm not suicidal? Can you make that make sense? Why the first thing that come out is I'm not suicidal? Man. Make that make sense. The first thing that come out your mouth is I'm not suicidal. Why is that the first thing that come out your mouth? First of all, I'm not suicidal. Can y'all hear me now? Check it out. Okay. I'm not suicidal. Okay? I am not suicidal. I am innocent and I am not suicidal. Right. Yeah. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Stop. Let's go hit. You're live on Dan J Show. I can help you. What up, Dodge? I'm back on here. You, hey, bro, listen to me, nephew. You're missing something, bro, with Jesse Smell. You're missing something very important, and you know this. Check this out. When a man stands in court and the judge asks that man, what's your, do you have anything to say? And the first thing that man says is that I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. If something happens to me in there, just know I am not suicidal. We know he's guilty. We know it was a, a hoax. We know all of that. But he looked at the judge and he said, it's her jail time? And he shook his head. He, he, he started to cuss the judge out. He said, jail time? You know that Jeff, Jesse Smullard is well connected, especially with a lot of high-profile politicians. We know this, okay? <laughs> Levi. He's well connected. Levi, you jumping ahead of what I'm... <laughs> oh, nigga! I might as well let Levi run it down. He jumping in with what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but yeah, that that's what's up. And he know he knows a lot. And you take a guy like you, myself, anybody that's really from the streets, five months in a jail, whatever, we don't want to do it, but niggas like us be like, damn, that's my summer. <laughs> we like, that's my summer. My summer gone. Right. Well, we'll go in there and do that shit. But he, being how he is, He's basically saying, yo, for y'all to tuck me away is more to this picture because he knows a lot and he will tell anything not to do a month because him, the kind of dude he is, he don't want to go to jail. And you don't know who he's been talking to. They to, to, hey, double-crossed Jesse Smollett, man. And that's why he said, if something happens to me, I didn't kill myself. And you can look for something, and we're going to watch this play out, my brother. I'm going to get off and listen to you. I knew you was on it, but I'm going to listen to you break this down. All right. Go ahead, brother. Right. Peace, peace. <laughs> and Levi jumped in here like, look, this is going up. But he's right. So let's look at this, and I want and I want y'all to see where I'm about to go with this. Let's look at it. Suicide. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. Now wait. He said this two times in two different tones. I'm not suicidal. Moderate tone. Okay. I'm not suicidal. Okay. I Wait. He's not suicidal. That's all he liked to say. Then he said, I'm not suicidal. Pay attention to the buildup. Okay. I'm not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you, and I respect... Oh. 
you stuck if you did this that means you stuck the fears you stuck your fists in the fears of everybody in the world and then you went on to tell the group that's supporting you look listen and I am not suicidal if I did this then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community your honor I respect you and I respect the jury Pay attention to Jazz, which is right next to him. And pay attention to the way he addressed the judge. And the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. And I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. Okay. Mr. Uche, let me inquire. Are there any post-sentencing motions you care to present right now? Yes, Judge. Yes, Ms. Bill. The defense would wish to present a motion to reconsider sentence right. and file it in standard. Right. It, is, it is timely filed. Thank you, Judge. And, and let me say, I've obviously considered the sentence at great length. And it's, it's timely filed, so it's preserved for purposes of appeal. The motion to reconsider sentence is respectfully denied. And is there another? What, what, one second, Randy. Anything else? Just a second, just a second. Is there going to be a notice of appeal filed? Yes, Judge. Uh, we, we, we're filing a notice of appeal. We're going to be emailing it to the court right to the office. You, you're doing it in standard? And are, you going, to, are you going to be handling the appeal? Uh, just as of now, yes. Well, you have to commit to yes, the appeal. Yes, the yes, no, problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. No appeal may be filed. Charlotte, and now I need the prosecutors to work with Charlotte, the probation officer, to work out probation specifications with the conditions I just explained. 150 days in the county jail, restitution, fines. Oh, and also uh, statutory as well. That, that, that's statutory. So you have to fill out the probation specifications. And I'm going to get somebody to help you do that. But we need to get that done in standard. Your Anything Honor, else today? Yes. Your Honor, if I may, in light of the notice of appeal, we would ask that you would suspend the jail sentence in light of the in do standard what? filing of the notice of appeal. Did I do what? Suspend the jail sentence in light of the notice of filing of the appeal. That would be respectfully denied. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Okay. Mr. Lewis. It can be stayed in light of our notice of appeal. No. I'm not staying. No, no, no. The wheels of justice turn slowly. Sometimes the hammer justice has to fall, and it's falling right here, right now. I'm not staying this. This happens right here, right now. Okay. Okay. Charlotte? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. I'll give you a Okay. Okay. All right. Any other matters to come before the court today? All right. Defendants remanded to the custody of sheriff. Court is adjourned. I am not suicidal. Stop about black I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. I'm getting two messages from this. One message to the elite. I am a small business owner trying to find other small business owners to tell one them message, about next on. insurance. One message to the elites. I'm getting one message to the elites that if y'all kill me, I put it on record. The second thing is his sister, Jazz, Sm Jazzy Smollett, was just in a movie, a controversial movie. I forgot the name of it, but she was in a very controversial movie where she played a AIDS, a person that contracted AIDS and she died. Um, a 
the other thing I'm getting from that is I don't want to go to jail. Well, here's the thing. If you didn't do it, then who did it? That was your time to talk. But I get it. You can't talk. Because if you out the elites, something might happen. But the question is, why do they want you gone? And see, and I told y'all, he's backed by some powerful people. I'm looking at your comments, and they didn't put him put handcuffs on him. Put proud, put proudly through them on a right. That's what I'm about to get to, Sunshine Brown. They proudly cuffed Robert and took him out, but they didn't cuff him. Tomorrow's Leader Sports Network says, so if that was me. I would have a knee in my back and my arms twisted with them trying to cuff me. Facts. Facts. That part, EJ, something ain't clicking with this. Tyler Perry's Temptation, that's what it was. Thanks for the movie update. So... <laughs> Damn juicy. <laughs> it's crazy. He was handcuffed and put in the car. Facts, but you're missing what I'm saying, Mr. Laws. They cuffed Robert in jail and took him out. Why couldn't they do the same to him? This will be a series that is going to come out with him acting a fool in court. Right. But... When I say he's backed by some powerful people, let's take a look at some of the people he's backed by. I'm going to take the cash app down so y'all can see. The first person is Kamala Harris. At Jesse Smollett is one of the kindest, most gentle human beings I know. I'm praying for his quick recovery. You acting like he's hurt. This was an attempted modern day lynching. No one should have to fear for their life because of their sexuality or color of their skin. We must confront this hate. Bernie Sanders, the racist and homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is a horrific instance of the surge in hostility towards minorities around the country. We must come together to eradicate which means destroy all forms of bigotry and violence. Joe Biden. What happened today to Jesse to Justice Smollett must never be tolerated in this country. We must stand up and demand that we no longer give this hate safe harbor, that homophobia and racism have no peace on our streets or in our hearts. We are with you, Jesse. Uh, who does Alexandria Ocasio Cortez? There is no such thing as racial racially charged. This attack was not possibly was not possibly homophobic. It was a racist and homophobic attack. So if it wasn't homophobic, how can it be a homophobic attack? If you don't like what is happening to our country, then work to change it. It is no one's job to water down a sh or sugarcoat the rise of hate crimes. Lori Lightfoot, my thoughts and prayers are with Jesse Smollett. Everyone deserves to live freely as their true, authentic, authentic self in this city. As mayor, I will make sure that regardless of the victim statue, Hate crime incidents and complaints are fully investigated. bit.ly forward slash LLLGBTQ. So I got a question. I'm going to stop there. Are you going to be prosecuted and for telling them Indians, but that you got a bigger dick than they do? Lori Lightfoot? Are you going to be prosecuting and for walking around with a dildo strapped on all day? 
Cory Booker. The vicious attack on actor Jesse Smollett was an attempted modern-day lynching. I'm glad he's safe. To those in Congress who don't feel the urgency to pass our anti-lynching bill designating lynching as a federal hate crime, I urge you to pay attention. Well, they just passed that bill. Joanne Pro-Democracy Reed. Nooses never really disappeared as messages of a very specific kind of terror. But every time they're used, my God, it's chilling. Praying for Jesse's full recovery and for us all. Rashida Tlaib. When one of the most famous black and gay men in America is not safe, he, he message is clear. The message is clearer than it has ever been. The dangerous lies spewing from the right wing is killing and hurting our people. Thinking of you at Jesse Smollett and my LGBTQ neighbors. Eric Swalwell. What happened to Jesse Smollett is, is vile and tragic. Thankfully, he will recover. But hate crimes like this are happening more frequently, egged on by careless, hate-filled rhetoric. We start reducing these crimes by rejecting the speech. Neither can ever be accepted as normal. So I have a question. What you see now is a whole, po is a whole post of people who either support the LGBTQ community or they part of the LGBT community. And what you're seeing is powerful people who pass legislation and pass laws for them. But also what you see is the whole underlying agenda. This is the whole Obama administration. This is the whole Obama administration. See, and I don't know who, who you are. But uh, I don't play these games over here. So, Pastor. All right. Oh, I got feeling. Oh, you can get blocked. Yep, you can get blocked. You put your So, right. Right, Tomorrow Sports. Right. So, I wonder if those same people are going to come back and recant their statements and give an apology to the public. Because what I see now is they standing up for this man. That part right there, Mel, Mel J. But R. Kelly is chopped liver. Somebody that did something versus somebody accused. I keep telling y'all. This is crazy. This is bigger than what you think. They now have more rights than anybody that was born here. I'm just saying. And see, and people don't understand why I do certain things. Check this out. When you come in here acting stupid. I, I, I block them. I, I block them. Oh, yeah, I block them. I don't got to go back and forth. I just do what my pastor told me to do. So what you tell me to do again? I, I, I block them. I, I block them. Oh yeah, I block them. And for the people that's talking about, oh, we can't deal with what he's saying over there. It's too raw. It's this and this. Well, you have an option. And your option is... If you don't like what I say or do, pretty please. For your sake and mine Unfollow me That's all you gotta do Is unfollow me That's all you gotta do Is unfollow me It's not hard And for the people that keep the lies The drama and the, and the, and the slander going this this what you can do. 
I just need you to shut the fuck up, cause nobody asked you, bitch. I need you to shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Bow, bow, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Bow, bow, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Bow, bow, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Bow, bow. That's it. What up, Keith? That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's cool. But, come on, man. When are we going to take back to what we have to do? Rob is on the chopping block. We see that. Astrology TV, what are you talking about? I didn't let him do anything to my son. I got it. Trust and believe. I got this. I got it. So, at the end of the day, like I said... We got to make sure Robert is straight like Ms. Bojean is doing. Hmm. I'm going to come back with part two. I'm a Bird? I'm going to come back with part two to this R. Kelly case because I got some documents that, uh, here we go. Enough is enough. I don't like seeing your baby on here like that. That's some evil stuff. I got it, Georgia girl. Trust and believe. It is evil. It is evil, but I got it. Trust and believe I do. Oh, he ain't gonna get away with it. <laughs> Trust and believe that. And I put that on my life. Everything don't need to be publicized. And I'm learning that. Everything don't need to be publicized. And especially when you know a person is an agent working for the government. He already done said it. Oh, all the people that's supporting R. Kelly coming after me. So now they're going to try to hold that against R. Kelly. What up, Malik? So trust and believe. He ain't going to get away with it. There's no need to panic. Because I'm laughing about it. At first I was mad. And I ain't going to lie. At first I... Yeah. But I got it. Trust and believe I got this. So you can put kids up all you want. Just know when that gong bell, when that gong bell sound, I don't want you to say, "Oh, I didn't do nothing." I'm a pay, I'm a tax paying citizen. Don't do none of that. That's all I'm saying. Don't do none of that. I just want you to stand in and stand on what you did. The first time I gave you a pass, you don't get no pass this time. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this. Anybody jumps in to help him, you're going to get the same thing. Whether that's man, woman, child, I do not care.
Key said, now, what about to happen behind this is they are about to fight to get new laws, bills for the LGBTQ, and slow Biden will give it to them. Right. You're right. You're right, Keith. This is all going to be new laws for them. They're going to have their own separate laws from everybody else. So like I'm saying... Mm -hmm. Astrology TV, I get it, but there's no need to panic because when you panic and you do stupid stuff. But yeah, that's my son. He wish he can create something that, that beautiful. But I'm going to say this. If it's war you want, it's war you're going to get. And that go for followers and everybody. That go for everybody on the enterprise. You best to believe I'm waging war. It is what it is. And I'm not going to sit here and talk about it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to do none of that. No. I'm going to just say this. I'm waging war on the enterprise. Simple as that. An invasion is about to happen. And a lot of people are going to get hurt. That's all I'm going to say. So whether you want to send the people to my house, whether you want to get police reports, I don't give a fuck from this point. You played with my baby. So now I'm going to play with your life. And I'm going to send a stern notice, a stern warning. Anybody get into this is going to get the same thing he going to get. That's all I'm saying. And I'll stand in front of a judge and let him know why I did what I'm going to do. Now you talking about you can do 30 with a smile? I doubt it. And you couldn't even do two hours. You were scared of shit when they came and got you in front of the, the fucking courthouse. What you should have did was looked up my background and understand how much time I've already done before I hit adult age. That's what you need to figure out. But I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I'm going to let you go ahead and do your childish things. Have better on the internet. I'm going to play with you in person. That's it. That's all. That's cool astrology TV. I get it. That's it. That's all. I see y'all in a few. I'm about to make a market run. I'm out. Who am I? I am King I'm gonna take a dip in your pool. Just go for a little dive, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>